Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Tech Theater. And today we are going to discuss about the week 6 of the bits and bytes of computer networking. Okay, so in this week we are going to discuss about the troubleshooting of future networking. And the first quiz is on verifying connectivity. So we are going through the practice quizzes of verifying connectivity. So the first question of verifying connectivity is the protocol used to communicate network errors is known as ICMP. Okay, and the second question, the ping utility sends what message type? This is an echo request. And the third and the last question of this quiz is, on Windows, one of the tools you can use to verify connectivity to a specific port is known as test net connection. Okay, so that's all about the uh, verifying connectivity quiz. So we're going to our next quiz, which is about digging into DNS. Okay, so before digging into DNS, we're going through the quizzes. Uh, okay, so the first quiz, uh, I mean the first question of this quiz is, one level of three public DNS server is 4.2.2.3. It's a public DNS servers, and the rest of three options are not. They're, they're not public. Number two, a DNS resolver tool available on all major desktop operating system is NS Lookup. That's the available DNS resolver. Number three, the organization responsible for DNS at a global level is known as ICANN, I-C-A-N-N. Okay, so that's all about digging into DNS. Okay, so the now next quiz, which is basically on the cloud. So we are going through the quiz. What are they saying about the clouds? Okay, the first question, a piece of software that runs and manages the virtual machines is commonly known as hypervisor. Okay, so don't be confused with the cloud computing devices. Office 365 Outlook is an example of SaaS, S-A-A-S. Okay, a hybrid cloud is known as a combination of public cloud and a private cloud. Okay, so that's all about cloud. We already completed this. Now, IP version 6. There are some questions about IP version 6. What are they? Okay, so we are going through the feedbacks from the questions. The first question, IP version 6 address is how many bits long? This is 128 bit long. And the second question is, the very first field in an IP version 6 header is known as a version field. The IP version 6 header file field that indicates how many routers can forward a packet before it is discarded is the called is called the hop limit field. I'm telling again, the IP version 6 header field that indicates how many writer, routers can forward a packet before it's discarded is known as hop limit field. Okay, so IP version 6 is already completed. So now we are heading to our graded assignments. Okay, in the first question, uh, there's a kind of practical question. Uh, we need to answer this very carefully. IP version 6 compression rules. Okay, so I'm telling you some rules when there you can see there's a lots of zero the first thing we need to do is just omit the zero but there are some uh, rules that you need to follow in case of omitting zero okay so you can see I just copied and pasted it right into there so all I need is to just remove the first zeros okay so all you need to remove the first zeros like here is the first zero in front of two okay so all the first zeros are removed now what you need to do is just put double colon R you need there is a colon and there is a colon so all you need is to just delete this zero so there's a double colon instead of all the zeros here okay so that's the formula you need to now we check that's correct okay next question again don't forget to copy and just paste it here and you can see this is not the headers or the uh, introductory zero so we shouldn't delete this so I can see there is no zero actually so there's the correct one is given okay so the other one copied and pasted so where are the front zeros yes there is a zero in front of them header zero header zero okay so all the zeros are done there's very answer. okay so the next one copied and pasted okay so there's lots of zeros so all we need is to just delete them so the two column will be side by side and the other thing is here you need to know that that's a formula you can use this type of uh, deleting all the zero formula can twice you cannot use this formula twice so all you need is to uh, from the rule we can just delete these things right but no we need to put at least one zero instead of deleting all the zeros uh, okay so that's the correct answer check it yes that's correct now again just copy all uh, the IP version 6 address paste it okay so double zero delete them okay so zero delete all of them no problem double zero delete all of them double, only single zero delete all of them yeah that's the correct one okay so number six questions copy it paste it so where are the zeros yeah there are the zeros they are deleted okay deleted and zero deleted so check out oh there is another mistake happen so where is the mistake happen can you tell me just check it out zero zero five two okay so what is the mistake there's the mistake we made it we put a zero there right now check it there's the correct one okay so again just copy uh, I mean the copy the address and IP version address paste it here okay so now look here now what we need to do is just 
replace all the, I mean delete all the zeros so that there will be two columns. And you can see there's also uh, two pair of zeros for, I mean not two pair, basically uh, two set of zeros containing four in each set. So should we delete all of them? No, we can delete all of them because we already applied the same formula once. So all we need is to just delete three and keep at least one zero. And here also same, at least one zero. Check this out. Yeah, that's correct. Again, copy the address and paste it. Delete the front zeros in every address. Front, front. Okay, every front zero is deleted. And yeah, that's the correct one. Go to the next one. Okay, so don't forget to copy it. Copy, paste. Where are the front zeros? Delete it. Delete the front zero. And where are the delay? No, there is no other front zero. Yeah, that's the correct one. So that's the final and the last one. Okay, so paste it. Where are the zeros? Delete all of them, both of the zeros. Okay, so there are four zeros. So we should delete all of them. Two zeros. Delete. So one zero. Delete. So check this out. There's the correct one. Okay, so that's all of the thing. We had made correct all of them. So you guys shouldn't forget to get the full marks. Okay, so our practical exam is completed. Now we are going to head it for the final uh, question. Uh, final question of the quizzes. Okay, so the first question. ICMP stands for what? ICMP stands for Internet Control Message Protocol. Number two, while in the interactive NS lookup session, you had used the dash keyboard to change the DNS server using. You had changed the server keyword to change the DNS keyword. Okay, number two, with virtualization, a single physical machine called the host can run many individual virtual instances. And uh, which is called servers. Okay, and number four, following rules of compaction, the IP version six address 2001 hash or colon 0b8 okay so that's a huge ip address okay uh, could also be written as 2001 db8 uh double colon ff double o 12 h2 or 12 colon 34 56 okay so for the rulers of complexion so we just converted in them ip version 6 mapped address the space within ip version 6 always starts with 80 zeros number six terra uh, uh what is number six Record users, UDP packets on which demand the following operating system. Check all the temp by. UDP packets of which of the following operating systems. This can be on Mac OS and Linux OS. Okay, so number seven. Most public domain name servers are shortly known as DNS servers are available globally through which technology? This is known as Anycast. And number eight. Which is the name of the provision of services based around hardware virtualization? This is known as cloud computing. Number nine. Which option is not provided with cloud storage? They don't provide physical hardware. Number 10, which Internet Protocol version 6 header, file, header field is used to determine the quality of service level for a datagram? This is known as flow level. 11, when using the netcat command to test a network port, which option will provide output that is not useful for scripting but use, useful for human eye? This is known as minus V, minus V flag. You would like to use NSLOOKUP command in interactive mode. How is the mode accessed? By providing a domain name with the command. Which address represents valid local loop back addresses this is known as 25 four times that's not the correct answer this will be 127.0.0.1 and this will be one of the answers and the other answer will be most probably point hey i mean colon colon zero most probably but i'm not sure you guys should comment the correct answer uh, internet protocol version 6 addresses are written out in which format eight groups of 16 bytes okay number 15 point ping is used Output is similar across operating system. Which two values are displayed as part of the output? Message byte size and round trip time. Okay, number 16. What size is in, uh, I mean, what size is in IP version 6 payload field 16 bits? Okay, so that's all the 16 questions from this. If you have any questions or feedbacks review uh, about any questions or answers, don't forget to, I mean, question uh, the comment, I mean, question in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And that will help you. I mean, help me at least to provide the answer correctly.